Hi, Steve Finn here with a tip. So for franchisors and licensors, you've probably got a head office team. And it's probably, if you're anything like the way my business grew, it probably just gradually grew over time. Started with two people, myself and Len Ferguson. Then we got our next person, next person, next person. At one stage, we had more than 20 people at head office. And what we realized after a while is that um, our revenue had gone up, you know, we were giving amazing support, all that, all that sort of stuff to all of the people we had all around the country. But in the end, we were making no more money than probably what we did back in the very beginning. And it was also a lot more complex to be able to run all these people, as you probably know yourself. So the lesson is, is that, and I think overall, when I go and meet franchisors and I'm visiting head offices and all that sort of stuff, um, I think that you probably don't need half of your head office staff. You probably don't need them. Um, you need them now in your current structure as to how you've got things, but if you can restructure your business and maybe get some external advice from someone who's been there and done it or someone who understands the way they would do these sort of things, you, you can find a way to be able to have half of your staff still deliver a great service to your franchisees and licensees and maintain your revenue streams, uh, but also become a lot more profitable and, uh, and a lot more enjoyable as to how you actually run your business. There's a lot of op options to be able to do that. So that's, that's the tip that I would give you is to consider that. And I think overall, you end up with a happy, uh, as a happier business owner if you do that. And you're, you make your business uh, much more viable in the long term and also much more valuable if you ever as a franchisor want to sell the whole shooting match.